Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your June 2019 reading. Thank you for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Sagittarius, something a little bit different this month. What I'm going to be doing for June is the video that gets the most likes out of the June readings. I'm going to be picking a comment from that video and that person will win a copy of the Gothic Tarot illustrated by Joseph Vargo. It's a boxed and uh, and bound here. It's been unused. It's it's new. So if you're interested, please uh, like and uh, don't forget to comment below as well. So it, good luck there and I will be drawing the winner in July. Okay, let's take a look here at your Oracle Sagittarius. From Isis, you've pulled the card of the Temple of Lapis Lazuli goddess of the ancient skies. Now this particular stone here, lapis lazuli, it's one of my favorites and it's it's an absolutely beautiful stone and if you've ever been to to Russia and and visited the uh, the wonderful museums and, and cathedrals there you'll see uh, the columns a lot of them are either made of malachite or lapis lazuli which is a, a very very beautiful stone now here Sagittarius it's a very you, you'll notice that it speaks of the ancient skies so it speaks of ancient souls it's that old soul energy and the Oracle comes to you to provide spiritual recognition that you have wisdom and understanding within you that is very ancient and flows from the soul and that you also have this this sacred kind of connection it's neither strange nor weird, it's precious and, uh, and it's certainly something that is unusual, you know, uh, oftentimes Sagittarius is known as a sign that is more connected with, with, with spirituality really, with things that are a little bit different from tradition when it comes to belief systems. So I feel that this is your energy. Mostly I'm picking it up as that kind of old soul energy and uh, wisdom as a result of that. I also get that it's not to forget that. Not to forget that. It's a very unique gift. Now from the Witch's Wisdom, you've pulled the card of the Lady Goddess, feminine, the divine feminine. So of course it speaks of receptivity. So it's about receiving the gift receiving the gift here of wisdom hmm. uh, you know I, I love that energy for you Sagittarius it's a, a absolutely beautiful energy let's see where this goes I'm actually going to do a couple more shuffles here Sagittarius so we'll see what the messages are for Sagittarius for you I'll be using the universal weight deck and for the person that you're dealing with I'll be using the tarot deck and wheat so let's get started receiving gifts Mm, it, it is absolutely a very receptive energy that I feel around this. Maybe even accepting apologies from people around you. Let's see where this goes. I'm going to start with the past energy. What have you brought to this situation in the past, Sagittarius? What has Sagittarius brought to this situation in the past? Okay, we'll take that one. Three of Cups. You know... Uh, when it comes to being out and about with friends, enjoying life, this is something that you're usually one of the ones that people like to hang out with, just by your very nature. I do feel there's this energy around you of someone who just makes, feel, makes people feel better just by you being around them. You know, you, you, you seem to, it's your spirit. It's, it's very uplifting is what I'm picking up there. An uplifting type of energy. And it's a gift. It's absolutely a gift. Let's see. The energy of the person that you're dealing with here. Uh, Sagittarius. Let's see. What is the energy of the person that Sagittarius is dealing with? Let's take a look. What is the energy of the person that Sagittarius has, is dealing with? Okay. And jump down the two of pentacles okay so this person is 
when it comes to, to making a, a choice here, I do feel that they've had in the past two different ways to go. Now, it could relate to two people. It could relate to just two very differing options in terms of life paths. So we'll see where that goes. Let's see where you currently stand with this. Where does Sagittarius currently stand with this? And please excuse my, my sinuses. They are um, playing up right now. Let's have a look. Where does Sagittarius currently stand with this? We have the, the Ten of Pentacles. Now, it came out in the cross, so I, I normally accept it as in the upright when it does that. So, at the present time, I do feel there is a great deal of grounded energy around you. Appreciation, you know, I, I pick it up as you're appreciative of your surroundings. Again, not many people are, you know, too many people don't live in the moment. They're often spending time thinking too much about the past or perhaps even just too much uh, projecting into the future. But for you here, Sagittarius, I feel this appreciation of what you have uh, around you. And as a result, there's a great deal of uh, strength, strength, that solid kind of foundation energy. Let's see, where does the other person currently stand with this? Where does the other person currently stand with this? Take those two. Okay, we've got Temperance in Reverse and the Two of Wands. Yeah, this other person, I picked them up as, as opposite to you in terms of energy field. You're very happy-go-lucky at the present time. Meaning you, you're appreciative of what you have. You are enjoying the moment, living fully in the moment. This other person, though, seems to be at odds with themselves. With the Two of Wands, there is something that they're needing to make a decision about. And there's imbalance behind it. A lot of conflict within. And I do feel around this person that they can be quite melodramatic. There's something about this individual that they can't seem to balance balance their, their way of thinking. I, I feel it's more about, how do I put this? For some, it is, I have to say, some kind of mental instability. I have to put that out there. But for others of you, it's more about just having this choice or feeling like they need to make a choice here is making them feel unbalanced. Like you have this solid foundation, you have this strength behind you. This other person just has nothing really tangible to, to hang on to in terms of their own thought process. Mm, let's see. Let's see where you hope to be with this in the future, Sagittarius. The Six of Swords, okay. So it is about movement, travel. For some of you, it's physical travel. You may want to move. But it's movement towards something that you feel drawn to. It could be a home. Or it could just be moving to different circumstances. It seems that this person around you is having a difficult time in finding that stability around you. So maybe I'm getting a sense around you of thinking, well, you know, if this person is not appreciating what they have around them, Maybe I should move on here, but let's see, let's see. Where does the other person hope to be with this in the future? Where does this other person hope to be with this in the future? The Knight of Wands, so there's travel again. I'm picking up a very passionate energy around this individual. There is passion, there is 
really wanting to kind of do the thing that is bold and courageous but something seems to be blocking them let's see how you're viewing this person Sagittarius I don't feel like that was it how are you viewing this person Sagittarius we'll take that one the Hierophant so you may be committed to this individual they may be a Taurus for some of you for others of you though it's really about tradition the upholding of tradition so I feel that there's a traditional arrangement so you're either married to this individual or in a long-term committed relationship or partnership could even be related to uh, the family you may work with this person in a large institution let's take a look and see how this person is viewing you Sagittarius King of Wands in reverse All right, all this wand energy around them. It's like, I get the sense that around this person, you would like to have something traditional, something that is very stable with this person, but there's just something a little bit off in terms of how they, how they think is what I'm getting from spirit. They seem to be very spontaneous. They do the, the unexpected and they're seeing you as the king of wands in reverse. I actually want to get one more card on that. How is this person viewing Sagittarius? Okay, we also have the three of pentacles in reverse there's something that they don't want to they don't want to work with you they don't want they don't feel like they can come with you on this journey hmm it's it's a kind of a I pick up it's like they see you as someone here who is is very confident very confident but they don't feel that they can work with you in in the same way that you want you want to go where you want to take this let's see what your doubts and fears are here Sagittarius doubts and fears for Sagittarius Queen of Wands well why are you doubting yourself why are you doubting yourself you know Sagittarius remember you've been given a gift here of wisdom and here is an opportunity for you to tap into that source that old soul spirit here what is it how do you want to live your life is there something that you're wanting to move to or move back to what's holding you back mm. it's like receiving this gift of wisdom receiving this gift of wisdom let's see what the uh, doubts and fears are for the other person doubts and fears for the other person the hangman in reverse they don't seem to be able to to get out of a, a way of a way of thinking an old pattern an old belief system very stagnant energy very stagnant they don't seem to be able to to move here hmm I think that they want to you know deep down I think that they want to move towards you or move with you to some to something better maybe another location but there's something holding this person back the challenge should tell us what that is so let's look at your challenge here Sagittarius what is the challenge for Sagittarius please the Knight of Cups in reverse okay 
So what I'm picking up here is it, it is around it, it is around going back on a promise. Now is it you going back on a promise or is it somebody else going back on their promise to you? Let's see what the challenge for the other person is. What is the challenge for the other person that Sagittarius is dealing with? The Two of Swords, there's that choice, that decision. This person needs to make a choice, but they're not making it. I feel if they really tap into their, their inner wisdom here, then they will be able to think not only with reasoning, with logic, take the emotion out of it, but they'll also be able to hear what their soul is telling them. But I don't feel that they are actually making any move here. They need to come off the fence here and, and either commit or not commit. Do they come with you on this journey or not? What is this that's holding them back? I feel like there's something there that is some kind of conflict, imbalance. They don't feel at peace, so they can't seem to get clear in their mind what choice to make. What choice do I make? Mm, let's have a look and see what the outcome is here before we go to part two. Part two will be available on my Vimeo channel. The extended will be, uh, the link for the extended will be below, and that'll be on the uh, Oh, the first link as you uh, as you look below this uh, this reading let's have a look we've got the emperor okay what is the outcome here for sagittarius let's see what we'll be talking about in the extended here sagittarius the knight of swords mm, okay i do feel that there's someone coming in here with a message they're a traditional type of person they are they may be a slightly older than you or have a, a, a different kind of energy around them in terms of there's someone who is quite a powerful individual. Uh, they've achieved a lot in their life. So this person is coming in here. They are charging in actually, wanting something with you, uh, Sagittarius. Let's get one more card. What is the outcome here for Sagittarius? and the moon but there's still a lot of clouded thinking when it comes to this person coming in it's like you you don't see the full picture here mm. it could be that when it comes to the the situation that this person is currently in they may not be being completely clear when it comes to to what they are leaving in order to come to you Sagittarius nevertheless I do feel that this person is coming in with a message so let's take a look and see what the outcome is for the person that you're dealing with the outcome for the person that Sagittarius is dealing with here we have the six of wands in reverse what is the Six of Wands in reverse? Okay. The Nine of Cups. Oh. And that one went on the floor. Excuse me. And the Devil in reverse. Mm. They have to free themselves mm. from something before they can come to you, I feel. They, they hope to do that. They hope to be able to free themselves from something that they went towards here that turned out to be not what they thought it was, a toxic situation. Yeah, it, it, I feel that they need to be, be free of this before they can come towards you. I do feel that they want to though. They want to come towards you. So let's see where this goes, Sagittarius. I'm excited to see 
if this is something that you're going to welcome it seems like it will or how this is going to affect your life going forward so we'll look at that in part two i hope that you join me there again the link will be below in the descriptions box and that will be on my vimeo channel if you're interested in a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com and that email is also in the box below and Sagittarius don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're a newcomer and uh, don't forget to comment too because if this is the most liked video of June I will be picking one of the comments and that person will win a copy of the Gothic Tarot illustrated by Joseph Vargo so I'll be announcing the winner next month so wishing you the best with this Sagittarius I'll see you in part two or I'll see you next day uh, in a couple weeks bye for now